हेलो माई नेम इज़ अंजलि एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई यू एक्साइटेड फॉर दिवाली बिकॉज आई एम लेट मी शो यू वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट रेसिपीज फॉर दिवाली विच इज पूरे टीका मसाला Let's get started. We'll start by chopping two medium-sized onions into big pieces of approx 1 to 2 inches in size. Now do the same with the capsicum and tomatoes after removing the seeds. Then we'll set all of them aside. Next in a big bowl, we'll add 1 cup of sour curd, 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste, salt as per your taste, half a teaspoon turmeric powder. Half a teaspoon red chili powder, half a teaspoon carom seeds, quarter teaspoon cumin powder, quarter teaspoon black pepper powder. Then we'll beat the curd with the help of a whisk till it's evenly smooth. Check the taste and add more seasonings if required. You can also be more creative here with the spices you like. I used Kashmiri red chili powder here to give a nice red color to the food but not to make it too spicy. Add 1 tablespoon mustard oil and again mix it well. We are now incorporating all the flavors from our spices into our curd before marinating the veggies. One by one add onions, capsicums, tomatoes, Now mix it properly with your hand. After this, add big cube-shaped pieces of paneer and then be gentle while mixing. This is an important step as we need to make sure that the mixture is applied on all the sides of all the pieces of veggies. In case you don't want to use your hand for mixing, make sure to use a tool that will not break the paneer as they are very delicate. Okay now, we're going to squeeze half a lemon on the mixture and keep the bowl in the fridge for about 2 hours. To assemble and grill our paneer tikkas, we'll be needing bamboo skewers that are soaked in water for about 30 minutes before threading. Now carefully add veggies one by one and place two to three paneer pieces in between. Place them on the grill tray and then keep the baking tray at the base to hold the dripping marination mixture if you want to keep it clean. Now we're going to brush some oil or butter. I am using butter here to add more flavor. Place this in a preheated oven for 10 minutes. Also I've mentioned all the details in the description below for your easy reference of the recipe. Oh wow look at that my kitchen was smelling so so good at this point after 10 minutes we're going to remove the tray from the oven and turn the paneer tikka skewers and brush some more oil all over it again keep it back in the oven and continue to grill for about 15 20 minutes since the temperatures vary from oven to oven do keep a check there you go I was so happy at this point but wait we'll be now doing some small kitchen magic here <laughs> by placing a small bowl and carefully place a burnt charcoal over it we're going to now add few drops of butter or ghee and quickly close it with a dome shaped lid to have a tandoori flavor remove the lid after 2 to 3 minutes and serve the paneer tikka sprinkled with lemon juice and garnish it with green coriander leaves i'm going to soon make a second part of this video without using a microwave oven so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more make sure you hit the like button it always means a lot when you do that share it with your family and friends this diwali and i'll see you next time bye